Hey guys, what's going on? Underground Geek here. So I got another video for you guys. Um, this is actually a Marvel comic. Most of the time I'm doing DC or Image or Independent, maybe IDW. Uh, but this is a Marvel comic that I want to talk about. Um, this is by Donny Cates. And this is Doctor Strange 387 because it went back to the original numbering. Uh, and this is the Damnation tie-in. The storyline that they're doing right now. Um... And I bought this based on the cover uh, because the cover is like the neon lights of Las Vegas, which I thought was really cool. And uh, that goes to show you right there. See, a lot of people talk about comic books and they say that, you know, you don't buy based on art. But would you have bought this book if it had a boring cover? To me, that cover is pretty cool. Like, that's the main reason to get my attention to buy it. Now, why his ears are so big and he has this weird haircut, I don't know. But everything else looks pretty cool. So let's get into it, okay? Um, that looks like garbage. So uh, this is Doctor Strange. This has a cool Mephisto uh, picture there. Uh, it's by Donny Cates and the artist by Nico Henrichon. Henri um, the art is very different, okay? We'll get into that in a minute. It says, Steve Strange is once again the Sorcerer Supreme after a brief period by which Lord of Lies Loki had tricked Steven into believing Loki was the rightful title holder. Uh, for his first act back in the cloak, Strange wanted to redeem him, it's, uh, him, himself to the world and the friends he disappointed. He restored Las Vegas and the citizens who'd lost their lives during Hydra's raid and inadvertently allowed the... Uh, Manifestation of Mephisto's hellish hotel inferno on the strip, releasing the demon's power. And what they're talking about here is, I don't know why it's going to have this long description, but the the people that came back from hell are changed now from being in hell. And uh, they came back and they're worse than they were before. And now you got Mephisto's uh, hotel there as well. And his hotel has begun to change the city to be like hell. Um, so you got a pretty dire situation here. Okay, you got Doctor Strange laying there. He's like all beat up. Look at his eye. I mean, it's, it's pretty rough. And then he's thinking about what's going on right now because they're telling him that people are out there right now fighting for him. There's a team of really cool uh, characters and then Good Boy there. And uh, they're fighting all the creatures. You can see that right there. And then some of the good guys have been turned into bad guys. So... You've got all that going on. Uh, well, then he's there. He appeared and he's talking to him. He's telling him about what's going on. Um, they kind of have an argument go back and forth. And then he disappears because this person shows up. And uh, he says, Clea? And she says, oh, Stephen, what happened to you? And the art's very different because if you look at her face, the way they draw faces, like wide, wide faces, um big big eyes on the girls kind of things it's a it's a pretty cool style i guess you know it's something different um it's a lot better than the art we've been having uh so she is talking about his leg how he's injured she's trying to help him so she sets his leg and uh then he's a, he's a little bit better than he was before um so she called for backup she told him that she called for backup the door uh, explodes. She says, oh, well, Wong's group of dead and damned are nice. But I called in the big guns. So there we have some people. And it is Scarlet Witch and Loki. Pretty cool costume on Scarlet Witch. I like his jacket. Um, so he's like, wow, Loki's here. Because, you know, Loki's the one that had started all this mess. Um... And then he says, I literally warned you about this very thing. Do not start in on it. He said, I said, hell on earth. I said this, yes. I said you needed to be strong. And then you, are you serious right now? <laughs> and she said, hey, I like how they draw her beads flowing because she's moving angrily right there. You know, that's, that's a detail that they don't do a lot in art nowadays because people at Marvel suck. Uh, so you have them stand there talking. And it says, are you quite, are you two, if you two are quite done comparing uh, 
wands, be kind of, we kind of need to leave. Yeah, well, I screwed that all up. It said, uh, yes, right. Well, if you haven't noticed, I'm not the most mobile currently. Can you, one of you fix? And she's like, Phew, fixed. And uh, so as you can see, the art's pretty good. Uh, it says, uh, I can I can break them again if you wish. And he says, shut up, Wilkie. And he goes, how's bats? Shut up, Wilkie. <laughs> and so uh, he says, uh, listen, I appreciate the rescue. Of course I do. I just meant in the event that uh, all you get caught that uh, that the heavy hitters getting their souls taken and getting turned into ghost riders uh, would be a major galactic scale world annihilation problem. We said, well, yes. Um, so there's more talking, more things going on. He throws them out the uh, window. They all go down like superheroes. It's a pretty cool little shot right there. They all crash down like superheroes in the middle of all the bad guys and start attacking them. And uh, there they are. They're using more attacks. And then Clea gets captured. They're fighting. And that's when uh, Doctor Strange has had enough. He says, Clea, no. He said, that's it. Get off and exploded boom he says geez doc Clea they took Clea he says uh, yes well that may be so but we have we seem to have more pressing matters and there's the bad guys all the uh, ghost riders and the demons it's Black Panther Falcon Lady Thor and uh, Hawkeye I thought Lady Thor was dead is she not going to die or not? Like, you've been advertising this for like four or five issues, and she's still here. It's almost as bad as when they kept saying Logan's coming back, and then we still haven't got Logan to like right now. But yeah, exactly, right there. Yeah. So, uh, he says, would you look at that? Just wonderful. And there they are. He says, it's Mephisto. He's in his hotel. He's walking around above watching. He says, I really have missed this. You know how long it's been since I've uh, seen a good Vegas show? <laughs> says, uh, I must say, I had my doubts, dear, but you've done very well. Says, Thank you. And instantly we know something's, you know, we know what's up. And it's Clea. And, and her face freaking melts off. And it actually turns out that uh, it's Carl Manvers. And uh, she dressed up like uh, Clea to distract him. And what's so funny is... <clears throat> They, of course, they use this character right here because everybody hates Carl Manvers at this point, customer base wise. <laughs> but that's crazy right there. Like, look at her face melting off. It's like, ouch. It's like, uh, it's like that guy, um, what's that superhero that had the, had the mask that only lasts like 88 minutes? Dark Man? Yeah. It says, uh, no, he didn't feel, uh, me take a thing. And the glamour appears to be holding. And so, uh, I was reading more on it. It says, he still thinks his friends have come to save him. It shows them fighting there. Let me let it focus. Shows them fighting there. It's a pretty good fight scene. Pretty cool. I like the art close up. It's been a, it's been a long time since there's been art this good. But what is actually happening is, he is actually the one controlled... And he is fighting his friends with the demons. So isn't that crazy? And look, there's Man Thing. So Stephen Strange doesn't have any friends. And so he's fighting them all by himself. What's happening to his leg right now? That's kind of crazy. And his arm's all messed up. I wonder if that's a mess up because look, there's nothing there. There's not even a bone. I think it's supposed to be a bone. <clears throat> So then we get the next issue cover. That cover looks kind of cool too. Um, but, oh my God, how pretentious is this cover right now, guys? How pretentious is that? But, yeah, so I thought this was a very good comic and I wanted to show it to you because it builds, it shows a storyline, um, it gets everything set up, and then at the end it flips it on its head and totally uh, messes with your mind. And uh, I like Donnie Cates. He's very good at this kind of stuff. Um, I just recently got into him because of, of Venom, and now I like everything that he does. Um, he's a very good talent. I hope that they keep him a long time at Marvel. Uh, this art, even, I, did, I hated this art at first, but the more I look at it, the more I like it. It's just got a very unique style, and it's fun. Um, 
So you guys should def definitely check this out. It's a fun book. Uh, I know a lot of people are, are doing the Marvel boycott right now, but I really think that this is worth checking out because if we don't push the good books, then all Marvel is going to have is the bad books because they're going to say, well, nobody's buying any of them. So obviously that they're not the determining factor of who's good, who's bad. But if we will buy the good books and push those, they will start to be the ones on top. And people like Donnie Cates will be able to do the better books. You know what I mean? So definitely check this out. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I've got some new t-shirts on my Teespring. So definitely check that out. I've got some new secrets coming out in the next couple of weeks. It's going to be great. But thank you guys for watching. Underground Geek out.